The curse of Nick Pauly G has been looming on the city of Ocean Springs for 10 years now. The curse of Nick Pauly G on the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. Drawn parallel to the curse of the Bambino on the Boston Red Sox. Well, let's begin. The curse of Nick Pauly G has three layers to it. The first layer is my name in the Ocean Springs School District. The second layer of my curse is my baseball legacy with the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. And the last layer of my curse is something deep-rooted within the city of Ocean Springs that I'm here to address, but the city of Ocean Springs themselves needs to formally acknowledge the problem at hand. And I'll get there at the end of this video. So, to start, we must observe the curse of the Bambino, which is represented by this poster right here. And... The Curse of the Bambino refers to the baseball career of this man. The Great Bambino. The Sultan of Swat. Babe Ruth. One of the greatest baseball players of all time. Babe Ruth has seven World Series championship titles to his name. And Babe Ruth played for the Boston Red Sox in the early 1900s and won three World Series championship titles with the Red Sox. And then, in 1920, the Boston Red Sox notoriously traded off Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees. And the rest is history. But how the story goes is Babe Ruth kept balling for the New York Yankees and won another four World Series championship titles as a New York Yankee. However, the Boston Red Sox fell in a drought, a slump, without Babe Ruth, and they could not compete the same without the Great Bambino. And the Boston Red Sox did not win a World Series championship title until 2004, 84 years after Babe Ruth was traded off the Red Sox to the Yankees, and 86 years since the Red Sox last World Series championship title with Babe Ruth on the roster in 1918. The curse of the Bambino is fascinating because it goes way beyond Babe Ruth's time, and it goes way beyond Babe Ruth. And well... Babe Ruth's legal birth name is George Herman Ruth Jr. And my legal birth name is Paul Nicholas Garbin Jr. So me and Babe Ruth were both named after our dads. Me and Babe Ruth are both juniors. And it's fascinating how Nick Garbin is a literal Babe Ruth. I'm the same size as Babe Ruth was. We were both named after our dads. And me and Babe Ruth were both star baseball players, crucial to a team's success. And we set a curse on our team's success forevermore after we departed. And I'll get to my curse in just one moment. But first... We must observe my name, as my legal birth name is Paul Nicholas Garbin Jr. So, technically, the government knows me by Paul Garbin Jr. However, no one in reality knows me by Paul Garbin. That's my dad, and I love that man dearly. But I am Nick Garbin. Whenever I see a first and last name... I sign Nick Garbin, because that's what the whole world knows me by. And whenever we look at my Ocean Springs yearbooks growing up, in kindergarten, my mom told the school district that I go by my middle name. So in kindergarten, I am Nicholas Garbin. 
And whenever we look throughout my elementary school books, and whenever we look throughout my middle school yearbooks, I am Nick Garbin in all of my yearbooks growing up. And then, I entered the Ocean Springs High School as the very first class of freshmen to go through the newly constructed Ocean Springs High School back whenever it was built. And I was acknowledged as Paul Garbin in the yearbook. And after my freshman year, I would make it a point every single school year if the yearbook committee could put me down as Nick Garbin instead of Paul. I would ask them every single year. And each year, they would reassure me, Sure, Nick, we'll put you down as Nick instead of Paul. And every single school year in high school, I am Paul Garbin in the yearbooks. It's ironic, and I know a lot of people out there can relate to it, as I'm not the only person out there that goes by their middle name. But it's ironic, it's funny, how Nick Garbin grew up throughout the Ocean Springs School District, and everyone universally knew me as Nick Garbin. And whenever I got into high school, Nick Garbin never existed again. Even though everyone universally knew me as Nick Garbin, all of my classmates, all of my teachers, anyone on the faculty, everybody knew me as Nick Garbin. But the high school yearbooks have me down as Paul Garbin forevermore. And it's the first layer of my curse that I know a lot of people out there can relate to. But the next layer of my curse is unique to me. Nobody in the world can quite relate to my baseball legacy tit for tat because it is such a unique story. And I always enjoy telling it. And well, to start with my baseball legacy... We rewind the clocks back to 2011, when Nick Garbin was in 7th grade, and tried out for the Ocean Springs Middle School team, the 7th and 8th grade team, and in 7th grade, I did not make the school team. Similar to how Michael Jordan did not make his high school varsity basketball team one year. And there's a world in the Matrix where Nick Garbin... Never played baseball for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. I quit right after 7th grade because I was enjoying gaming and bowling and other outlets over baseball. And baseball just wasn't meant for me. So I quit after 7th grade. But that's not the story of my life. As whenever I did not make the team in 7th grade, I was fiercely determined to make the Greyhound roster when 8th grade came around. And... When 8th grade came around, we had a new coach, who was one of my teachers. And I tried out for the team, and I made it. And the rest is history. But how the story goes, is when Nick Garbin made the middle school baseball team, it was my role that was bestowed upon me that I was a pitcher only ace pitcher where I threw the most bullpens I threw the most batting practice I pitched the most on the team and I was our ace card our secret weapon and well for this 8th grade season of baseball we went undefeated we did not drop a single game and it's a team sport for us to be undefeated champions of course but I was the key component in us being undefeated district champions. I was saving our games, and I was throwing shutouts. And during this 8th grade season of baseball, the coaches, at one point, pulled me to the side, and they enlightened me with ecstatic news that I, Nick Garbin, was in fact the greatest pitcher in the state of Mississippi. Wow, that's something to behold, right? Well, I was never given a stat sheet or any form of recognition for, in fact, being the greatest pitcher for the season of baseball. But I humbly was. 
And I don't know if sporting departments give out formal recognition at the end of seasons for instances like this, but I have nothing to show for how hard I balled in this 8th grade season of baseball, except this 8th grade district championship award sheet. And we were all provided this award sheet for us being district champions. And Ocean Springs, analyzing this award sheet is classic. It never gets old. Because it, first off, it does not mention us being undefeated champions on it, which I feel like it should. And then whenever we look closer at this baseball award presented to Nick Garvin, we can read that there's a little typo whoopsie on here where we have Nick Garvin in recognition for her dedication and commitment to Ocean Springs Middle School Baseball and in celebration of the 2012 District Championship. And it's just a little typo whoopsie, but it is hilarious to joke about forevermore as it opens up a book of jokes that are awesome such as the fact that i am a literal babe ruth and i play ball like a girl so my life is a literal sandlot script and it's hilarious you play ball like a girl or now that i am a young woman out there on the field for the greyhounds I imagine myself being Hannah Montana, and Nick Garvin is Miley Cyrus, Miley Stewart in the show, and Nick Paul D.G. is Hannah Montana, but instead of being Hannah Montana, I am Nikki Mississippi. You just put a little I on the end of Nick, and suddenly, Nikki Garvin is a young woman for the Greyhounds who is carrying the Ocean Springs Greyhound single-handedly to success. And it's hilarious. It never gets old to joke about in my mind, ever. And, well, at least in 8th grade, they got my name right as Nick Garbin on this award sheet. And in the yearbook, I am Nick Garbin. Because whenever we move along to ninth grade, we have... This district championship stat sheet that was provided to me for us being district champions. And the game of baseball goes way beyond stats. Just like any other sport you play in your life. Because looking at your stats will never make you a better player. Ever. It's that hustle and love for the game that will make you the best player that you can possibly be. And you have the best attitude that you can always have. And you put your best foot going forward always. That will make you the greatest player that you could possibly be. Because in this ninth grade season of baseball, the coach never put any sort of title in my head for me being the greatest around or anything like that. It was just another season of baseball. But it's to be observed that Nick Garbin was the ace pitcher for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds once more. And I humbly carried us to another district championship. As whenever we look at this stat sheet, we can observe that I allowed one earned run the entire season. And I was striking out over half the batters that stepped in the batter's box throughout the course of the season. I was very clearly a talented player. And, well, I was the Ocean Springs Greyhounds ace pitcher once more. And I was on the championship winning team. So I was humbly the greatest pitcher in our district once more. I don't know if I was the greatest pitcher in the state again, but I was a very talented player. For both seasons, in 8th grade and ninth grade. Let's poke a little bit of fun at my stat sheet, shall we? So, whenever we look up at the top here, we can read. It says, pitching number 32, Nick Garbin. And well, in the Ocean Springs High School yearbooks, Nick Garbin never existed. I was Paul Garbin forevermore. So, the way I can metaphorically put this is it's like Nick Garbin is in the middle of a game of Pokemon, Ocean Springs. 
And the first thing they ask you in a game of Pokemon is, are you a boy or a girl? And well, in 8th grade, the Greyhounds had me down as a young woman, a girl. But in ninth grade, it does not mention on this stat sheet if I am a male or a female. No. So, it's like Nick Garbin is not a human being whatsoever. I am a creature out there on the field called Nick Garbin. A legendary pocket monster. That's what I am. And it's hilarious to put in perspective. Because the Ocean Springs Greyhounds have no collection of this Nick Garbin character at all. They don't know who he is. He doesn't exist in the high school yearbooks. And after this ninth grade season of baseball, I quit playing baseball for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. And you may be asking, why did you quit, Nick? Well, during freshman year, Nick Pauly G became known to be. It became my gamer tag, it became my nickname, it became what the world knew me by. Nick Paul Lee G. Just like how this man is the great Bambino. Well, I am Nick Paul Lee G. And my freshman year is whenever Nick Paul Lee G was brought into the universe. And I would upload gaming videos on my YouTube channel. And whenever I would go to school, kids would make fun of me for my gaming videos. And instead of shrugging this off and not letting it bother me, it would really bother me. And I deleted all of my YouTube videos, which I deeply regret doing. And in that same breath, Nick Pauly G felt like such a joke freshman year. It felt like Nick Pauly G was a big peon target. And I got so tired of it that I eventually quit playing baseball because of it. Which is sad to say, but it's the story of my life. And my experience with the Ocean Springs Greyhounds is one of a kind because it's a real curse that I have on the Ocean Springs Greyhounds where the Ocean Springs Greyhounds laughed Nick Pauly G off the field. I got bullied so casually that I quit playing baseball. And well, I deeply regret quitting playing baseball every day because I was really talented and I loved it so much. But how the story of my life goes, and everybody now knows, is once Nick Garbin quit playing baseball for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds, it was the exact parallel of Babe Ruth being traded off the Red Sox to the New York Yankees. No more Babe Ruth for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. No more Nick Garbin. No more ace pitcher. And my class of 2016 brothers in arms, my old baseball teammates, they were still a very talented group of players without me. But it's obvious that they were no longer the same championship winning team whenever I quit playing for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. They were still a talented group of players, but they were no longer the same championship winning team. And whenever we were seniors, they did not win the state championship. And the curse of Nick Paul Lee G originated in 2013, whenever Nick Garbin quit playing baseball for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. And for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds to reverse the curse of Nick Pauly G, the Ocean Springs Greyhounds have to win a state championship. And that will reverse the curse of Nick Pauly G. Because I know it's been decades since the Greyhounds won a state championship. 
And the curse of Nick Pauly G is very real. It's an effect that's much greater than myself. It's a deep-rooted curse that I'm here to uplift and bring the city of Ocean Springs up to new heights. But before I can get on with uplifting my city, and now that I've told you all my baseball legacy, I can now tell you all a story about the Joker and the thief in the night. And well, the Joker is Nick Garbin, being the ace pitcher for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. But now, it's so obvious that I was our old ace pitcher, that I'm no longer the ace pitcher for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds anymore. No, I am now the Joker in eternity about this whole situation. Because it never gets old in my mind to joke about how hard I balled for the Greyhounds and how I was the greatest of my time and how I was acknowledged as a young woman for the Ocean Springs Greyhound Department. And it's hilarious how Nick Garbin never existed in high school. So I'm just this foreign character that is the ultimate Joker card on Ocean Springs for the rest of my life because it's hilarious to joke about. And well, the thief in the night is Nick Garbin being able to break into the Ocean Springs Greyhounds trophy case. And I could find two district championship trophies from my 8th grade season of baseball and my ninth grade season. And I could find these two trophies, and I could steal them, Ocean Springs. They are my trophies. And I could sign my name on those trophies, Nick Garbin or Nick Pauly G. And I could throw them in with all of my Little League trophies, because they are my trophies. And well, to some, it may look like I'm being full of myself or conceited here. But in reality, it's showcasing just how vital of a player I was for these two championships to be earned. You could say the exact same thing with any other championship athlete in any other sport. But the metaphor that I draw directly is to Babe Ruth and Michael Jordan. I also metaphorically align my story next to Michael Jordan. So if you were to take Nick Garbin off of the Ocean Springs Greyhound roster, no Nick Garbin, it would be the exact equivalent of pulling Babe Ruth right off of the Red Sox roster and off of the New York Yankees roster, no Babe Ruth. And if you were to do that, there would be seven World Series championship titles that would disappear into thin air, like a thief in the night came in and stole them. Just like how Nick Garbin could steal two district championship trophies from the Ocean Springs trophy case. It's crazy how I am a literal Babe Ruth, Michael Jordan hybrid. Because Michael Jordan did not make his school varsity team one year in basketball. And I did not make the Ocean Springs middle school roster in 7th grade. And then... I made the team in 8th grade, and I became the greatest pitcher around, and everyone knew it. And, well, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. So, if you were to pull me off of the Ocean Springs Greyhound roster, no Nick Garvin, it would be the exact equivalent of pulling Michael Jordan off of the Chicago Bulls roster. No Michael Jordan. And if you were to do that, there would be six NBA championship rings that would disappear into the abyss. They never existed, as Michael Jordan was that crucial of a player for those championships to be won. And with how the story of my life goes, I won two championships back-to-back, in 8th grade and in ninth grade. And then I quit. 
And well, after I quit, my team, my class of 2016 Greyhounds, were still a talented group of players. But it would be the exact equivalent of the Chicago Bulls without Michael Jordan. That's how the Ocean Springs Greyhounds were without me. It's the exact same metaphor. Some more about myself. Your brother from another mother, Nick Pauly G. And what I carry with me on my person. I have my keychain right here. And I have a Spider-Man amulet on my keychain. As it represents Nick Pauly G being Spider-Man. And Nick Garbin is Peter Parker. However, whenever we look at my wallet, I have a Venom wallet. Because Venom is my favorite supervillain. And the whole world knows me as Nick Garbin. And Nick Garbin is Peter Parker. Spider-Man, Nick Paul D.G. However, all the contents in my wallet here say Paul Garbin on them. And the government knows me by Paul Garbin. Even though Paul Garbin is my dad, and I am technically Paul Garbin Jr., on some of the contents in my wallet, I'm just Paul Garbin. And, well, Paul Garbin is Venom. And Nick Garbin is Spider-Man, Peter Parker. I love that metaphor. And I love how it all ties around me being a literal Babe Ruth. Because me and Babe Ruth both don't go by our legal first name. He's Babe Ruth, and I am Nick Garbin, and it's fascinating how much I have in common with Babe Ruth. And if we take a look at my New York City beanie here, whenever we look on the back, we can see that it is made by Robin Ruth. And I find that fascinating, because Babe Ruth played for the New York Yankees, and this is my New York City beanie that I got whenever I went to New York. And... I love wearing it, and it represents my love for Babe Ruth. And, well, now that I've gone on enough about me and baseball for the Ocean Springs Greyhounds, there brings the third reason why I'm making this video. The deep-rooted problem that the city of Ocean Springs has that I'd like to address. So, whenever we look at the city of Ocean Springs from a bird's eye view, we can observe that the football stadium and the baseball complex are close together right off of Highway 90 at the heart of our beautiful city. And to some, it may feel like football and baseball get more love from the city of Ocean Springs than all the other activities and all the other sports that Ocean Springs has to offer. And this clearly is not the intent of our beautiful city's construction, but it's something that we need to take into account, Ocean Springs. And I vote the city of Ocean Springs issue a formal apology addressed to the masses of the Ocean Springs Greyhounds apologizing for anyone who's ever felt like their activity or their sports ever felt inferior to football and baseball. And in that same apology, the city of Ocean Springs can issue an apology to all of our neighbors throughout history for if we have ever come off as disrespectful or arrogant sportsmen, because that is not the intent of the city of Ocean Springs or of the Blue Gray Pride. And, well, after this apology is issued, I feel the city of Ocean Springs is going to flourish to all new excellent heights. And what I suggest is we build an Ocean Springs shop with all sorts of Ocean Springs Greyhound athletic wear inside the shop. And it will be a shop 
that is catered to the masses where we're going to have all sorts of awesome Ocean Springs themed merchandise in the shop and the student body of the Greyhounds are going to love this shop every single year and we could restock it with all sorts of different drops and we can make this really awesome Ocean Springs themed shop and it's going to be such an awesome viral success that all of our neighbors are going to want a shop like the one the Ocean Springs Greyhounds have. And it can be done. And we can lead the pack, Ocean Springs. That's what I see. Truly. And in the distant future, at some point, I vote the city of Ocean Springs get a boardwalk or a carnival or a fair. That would increase our connectivity after our events and after our games. And it would increase tourism year-round. And it would just be something awesome. But that's in the distant future at some point. We need the apology now. And we needed this shop yesterday. But we need the shop as soon as possible, Ocean Springs. And I feel like once we issue this apology, we're going to see the curse of Nick Paul Lee G be uplifted off of the Ocean Springs Greyhounds. I sure do. But, for the curse of Nick Pauline G to be reversed, the Ocean Springs Greyhounds have to win a state championship. That will reverse the curse of Nick Pauline G. And, well, I love the city of Ocean Springs more than any other city I'll ever visit in my life. And it's always going to be my home. And I will always be an Ocean Springs Greyhound. So can I get a blue-gray pride? Blue-gray pride! Much love, Internet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And follow me at Nick Paul e. G anywhere that you please. Peace.